Welcome to the PixelPad Robotics Simulator. My name is Ivo Vandermeer, and I'm going to be guiding you through the first steps on how to use it. First of all, the simulator was built to create a realistic environment of what it would be like to program a robot in real life. Now, of course, the simulator is only here on your screen, but the techniques that you use are actually very similar to when you're programming robots yourself. First of all, you have to go to pixelpad.com io slash learn slash first puzzles to open this simulator as you can see at the top of my screen right over here if you haven't done that yet you are going to have to create an account and log in with it and then you should see this screen when you get started on the right side what we can see is a little robot and a flag and a few walls if i click and hold my mouse i can rotate and you can see that i can rotate the camera to see a little bit better what's going on I can actually use the scroll wheel to zoom in as well, and I can look at the robot a little bit closer. Very cool. Now this robot needs to get to this flag, and that's the goal of this first challenge. If you're not sure about what the goal is in the challenge, you can always go to the guide here, and the guide will tell you what the goal is. And also, if you go to the next panel, it will tell you a little bit about the robot. For example, here you can see that there's a motor left and a motor right. Also. It reminds me that the left motor is facing the other way and should be reversed. Now, let's take a step back and figure out how we can control these motors in the first place. So I'm going to close this window and I'm going to go to the left side here. And here you can see blocks that are uh, currently actually not doing anything yet. So there's a lot of information already here. But if I want to program my robot, I'm going to have to add to that. So. What does that look like? First of all, let's go to actuators and DC motor on the left side. And what you can see, there's a bunch of blocks here that allow me to set the power and set some directions. Well, let's start with the first one, set power motor left. And I'm gonna drag that here and I'm gonna drag it right after wait for start. Then I'll press init on this side and I can see that my motor is actually running. But because it's only the left motor that's running, my little robot is now going in circles, which is not going to get him any closer to the flag. So let's press stop and see if we can do any better. I'm going to go back to DC motor and I can use another set power block. I'm going to drag that in and I'm going to drag in the motor right block. The motor right block allows me to also power the right motor. So let's press init again and see what happens. Now I can see the robot is just spinning in place. And this is because the issue that I mentioned before where the motor left is actually placed in reverse. Because the two motors are facing each other, you can imagine that if the motor left is like this and the motor right is like that, when they go forward, they actually go in different directions. So what I have to do is reverse the left motor before I uh, let my robot move. So let's take a look at that. And over here, there's a block called set direction motor left. So let's drag that in here. And we can actually do that before we call wait for start. So in the initialization, and then I can set the direction of motor left to reverse. Let's take a look. And as you can see, now my robot is moving forward which is looking great, but unfortunately he's never stopping. Let's press stop and try and make sure that he can also stop. For this, I'll have to go into the linear op mode. In the linear op mode, you can see there is one block called sleep. This allows my robot to wait for a short amount of time before it does something else. In this case, the time here is set in milliseconds. 1,000 milliseconds is one second. So let's take a look what happens when I let my motors run and then sleep for one second. As I can see, my robot is still moving in the same way. And that is because after the sleep, I still have to tell the motors to stop moving. So I'm going to have to change the power that I set to both motors. So let's go here back into actuators, DC motor, and of course I can use the two same blocks as I used before, set power left and set power right. But instead, I can also go here into dual 
and use this block that says both at the same time. Just the same thing, but it makes it a little bit easier. So I can go here and set the motor left to zero and set the motor right to zero. And that way, after this one second, it should stop moving. Let's check it out. And there we go. We can see it moved and then it stopped. A little bit too early, so let's try and modify that number. Set it to two and a half second, and I'll press on it again. And what do you know? It landed perfectly, and I can press continue for more puzzles. That's all for this puzzle, but there's many more to try, so good luck and have fun. Bye bye.